Welcome to this next episode of YouTube where I've entitled it, Is It Winter Yet? And we've been seeing some interesting weather in our town of Ely, Minnesota. We've been seeing some snow and some melt as well. As you can see around Luna with the Tarkis there, there's a lot of snow melt recently. And uh, we've been, um, it's been a little bit odd recently having this on and off snow and then melt. Uh, but the wolves don't seem to mind it too much. This is Luna resting on a Tarkis and where there are Tarkises, there are scavengers, and this is a black-billed magpie that's been hanging around the enclosure. We've seen him quite a bit uh, hanging around. He's been here in the pe in previous years. Actually, last year was the first time that we had seen a uh, magpie in the enclosure, and so we're not sure if this is the same bird, obviously, but if it is, he seems to be the lone resident of the enclosure. He's been only seen by himself in here. But he's mostly looking for some scraps here and there. He'll sometimes feed off the tarkas. Magpies are omnivorous, meaning that they will eat grains and fruits, but they'll also eat uh, small prey and also some uh, carrion as well. So they may even be seen. Uh, there's a lot of documentation of magpies flocking on carrion to feed on some of the meat. And so he's sort of scavenging around the enclosure. We've seen him on carcasses before as well. We, this. Uh, Bird's been hanging out quite a bit recently, but he's the first one. They're not, uh, or they're not extremely common around here. Last year was the first time we had seen a magpie in the enclosure, and we've been seeing it ever since in the winter time. But as you can see, we do get some on and off waves of snow. This is Aiden in the pond, getting a, a good dusting of snow on top of him. There's some pretty heavy snowfall here last week. But we did it in waves. It seems to come down, uh, then promptly melt after. Again, this has been some pretty odd weather that we've had here in northern Minnesota. Normally we're, we're pretty well covered in snow at this point, but it's been a bit of an odd year. We've actually experienced a bit of rain recently as well. So it's uh, been some adjust there's been some adjustments in management when we're dealing with odd weather like this, for instance. As you'll see, Aiden's climbing up on top of the pump housing frame here, and there's a bit of straw there. Uh, shortly after this video was taken, we replaced that straw. Uh, when we, um, I should say, hay, it's cover hay on top of that frame there, and once that's wet, then that really loses a lot of insulation value. So we pulled it off and added some new hay on top of the frame, and they seem to be enjoying it. Bolts especially here. He tends to spend a lot of time on top of the frame there but right now he's focused more on the windows this is this is actually a video taken from inside this is in the observation area near the auditorium and we had been moving a few things around in the auditorium and while we were doing that some of the props were sat next to the window and Luna and Bolt seemed to be pretty interested in uh, what was a moose femur right next to the window so we moved that away to save the windows there but well, the wolves here do sometimes come right up to the window in regular viewing hours. They, uh, people have gotten the opportunity to see the wolves this close through the window, so our, our observation area is a great opportunity to see wolves uh, right up close, right up and personal. And the wolves, this is not two-way glass. The wolves can see into the auditorium and into the observation area, and certainly they can hear us while we're talking in there and moving around. And so there's, there is quite a bit of stimulus there. Now, uh, if you can't make it here to see the wolves up close like that, there's also opportunities online that you can view our wolves. We do have our wolf cams, our live streaming cameras that you can look at at any time. But we also have live webinars that you can interact with. We do these live webinars usually a couple times a month. And Wolf Terror's webinar, we have one more this year, and that is on December 21st. It's the Winter Solstice webinar. And there's a link here in the description and on screen that you can actually go and register for that. Those programs uh, allow for interaction with staff. We can answer your questions while also watching the wolves live. They're very fun programs, very interesting, and we're happy to answer any questions that folks might have about the animals while um, uh, we're doing these webinars live. So they're excellent opportunity, excellent learning opportunities, and, and also an excellent opportunity to view the wolves in some activity. The one coming up will have a few stimulus, but we'll also be talking about uh, the winter solstice, of course, because the transition with um, 
wolves, being that they do very well in the winter time, this is uh, where they become more diurnal, meaning they're more active in the daytime, contrary to the nocturnal habits that they have during the summertime when it's hot. But as you can see, that even uh, uh, this is in mid-afternoon, and we're seeing a decent amount of activity. We're not in the enclosure. We're not stimulating this, but we're still seeing quite a bit of activity. This is Bolts, who had just stolen a bit of scrap from Aiden there. There was a little bit of scrap on top of the frame there that Aiden was chewing on, and Bolts promptly got a hold of it once Aiden decided to leave it up and leave it be. And there will be some stimulus during the webinar on the 21st that will certainly help to display some very interesting behaviors. We have a couple of ideas on uh, stimulating the wolves, and it should be very interesting. But like I said, we're dealing with some odd weather. We're dealing with these bouts of uh, snow and then melt, repeating quite a bit. And so we're keeping an eye on it. We're making sure that we uh, have the wolves as comfortable as possible. We're adding straw or ha adding hay to the enclosure to make sure that everybody has a dry, warm place to rest. There are hay, and there's hay in the dens as well that they can utilize to stay warm. But as you can see, there's often this really thick, really heavy snow. Uh, and we've had that on and off. And then quickly after that, we've been having some melt. And as you can see, this is only a few days later, and there's quite a bit of melt on um, already. Now, this is fresh, fresh driver hay that Luna's eating the deer carcass on but there's quite a bit of melt on there as well. And so we see that it's been pretty consistent. We've been getting good bouts of snow and then we've been getting some quick melt after. And again, we had some rain that helped with that melt uh, this last week. And so that's also helped to create some icy situations, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. But this is Luna darting the carcass. She had been darting this carcass for most of last week. She, the, Others, Bolts, Luna, um, Bolts, Aiden, and Denali, had all been feeding on it on Saturday night when we do our feeding program. But then uh, Luna had uh, gotten a hold of the carcass and had been possessing it for most of the week. This is about midweek here where she's still guarding it quite a bit uh, from the other wolves. This is Bolts still looking for an opportunity to maybe get on that carcass and maybe get some scraps. But Luna's very good at protecting carcasses that she's possessing, so it's very difficult sometimes for bolts to get by her and get onto the tartus again. But this week we're planning to feed them some beaver tartuses, so that'll be quite interesting. They haven't had beaver in a few months, and so it should be an interesting feeding this upcoming week, which we're quite excited about. So hopefully the wolves will be interested in having beaver again. They haven't had they've only had deer for the past couple of months, like I said. But that's pretty much the life of the exhibit pack in retirement. Like I mentioned, we've had some icy conditions due to the rain, and Rizzer has been adjusting pretty well to that. This is Wolfhair staff stepping on some ice puddles that have been forming in his enclosure. But he seems to take a, an interest in the uh, ground formations and the ice and whatnot. But he's not—he's taking the walks pretty carefully. We, hasn't, we haven't seen him trip or anything like that, so we're um, thankful he's being a little bit cautious around the ice. But he's still interested. He's, uh, um, uh, wolves are quite curious, and so anything that's making odd noises or giving way to weight, he might be interested in. But that is about it. We are, again, having our last webinar of the year. We will be having more next year, but our last one is December 21st at 3 p.m. Central Time, and you're more than welcome to come join us. We do have some uh, howling footage this week from the pack. We weren't able to get great video, but hope you enjoy this howling, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you very much. Wow.